Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. Do you think every task should be done by using components or tasks of ETL tool or better to use a combination of a SQL object such as store procedure and queries and functions with components available in ETL tool? So what they want to know from this question? They want to know if uh, you are well familiar with different types of transformations. Do you know that tran each transformation or task is uh, not the best task in SSIS? Uh, there are some limitations uh, on different tasks and how you tackle them. So let's take a couple of examples on this one. So uh, if uh, we are reading the data from uh, uh, one of the source, in this case, let's say we are reading the data from OLADB source or a SQL file or anything. And then we need to update some records at the end of uh, uh, this uh, uh, flow. So we have uh, what options we have. So if we need to update the records, uh, what, which transformation we can use? We can use OLADB command transformation. So OLADB command transformation is a transformation that runs the SQL statement for each of the record. So what is going to happen if you have thousand of records then it is going to run insert or update or delete whatever the operation you select here thousand time and then that that's a thing think about that if you have ssms open and you run select one select one select one uh, thousand time from, from even just say select one how much time it will take so it is a time consuming if because you are repeating the same statement over and over and over so what is the best option? So this is a row by row operation. That's what you are doing. Now think about another operation. Now we are reading this data from uh, flat files and then uh, we are we need to merge that data. So what we can use here, we need to use the merge uh, transformation on both sides as uh, the merge doesn't work uh, without sorted data. So if uh, you are getting 5 million records here and 10 million records here, what's going to happen so all those records has to get into memory before the sort will start uh, given the output so that that's uh, also costly operation it is asynchronous transformation that doesn't uh, get uh, it doesn't work the way like okay it's, it is getting record is given out record no it cannot because it has to put all the records in memory and then sort them and give you the output so if you are using a merge statement or merge join you have to have used the sort so what options you have right here if uh, you you have to update a lot of records or delete a lot of records uh, instead of using OLADB command transformation why not put these records in some staging table and then uh, uh, write your SQL statement come back outside of your data flow task and uh, use the execute SQL task and uh, use that uh, staging table to update or delete the records from uh, other destinations so that's the solution for your OLADB command transformation where you can put the records in the some staging table or temporary table and then use or execute SQL task uh, to do the set based operation. So what we did, we are kind of uh, uh, deviating from the transformations and going to the SQL, writing SQL. Still we are using execute SQL task but, uh, and, but we are calling the SQL queries to do uh, DML operation. Let's get back to the other example. So we have here sort. Instead of using sort, how about that we will read the data from both sources and put the data into staging table and then use a SQL statement and uh, we need to join or we need to union, whatever we need to do, we do it and then finally write the data to the destination. So in this case also we are kind of deviating uh, you know, from sort, uh, from the transformations. What we are doing, we are using mixture of transformations and we are putting the data into the SQL tables and writing SQL queries and uh, you know we, we are using mixer um, strategy where we are using SQL objects and uh, um, uh, transformations or tasks in SSIS to work together to give the best uh, out of uh, this tool. Think about that we are reading uh, um, 20 million records from one of the sources that can be that can be a uh, flat file that can be excel or multiple excels and then we join that data and after joining that what happened we need to get only 
unique record so in that case what we are doing we need to use first of all we need to union that so union is kind of blocking as well uh, because it all the uh, input has to be completed first uh, and uh, then it will start giving us output right away but uh, the last record will come when uh, the uh, uh, the last uh, uh, input will uh, complete the source records will complete so it is uh, in, in, in what I'm trying to say here uh, if uh, one of your sources is slow and other one are fast uh, so what is going to happen this uh, union all is also gonna be stuck there and uh, keep waiting for the uh, source so, so you have to work on different sides uh, if you are reading data from multiple sources uh, and uh, there one of them or two of them are slow uh, sources uh, and uh, then union is going to take uh, uh, more time because uh, till they are not done the reading uh, the, the records will keep flowing from input to the output so that's uh, that's still okay with the union all we can uh, live with it but if you have to use uh, the aggregate transformation or uh, sort transformation to delete or the duplicate records and you want to get only unique records so you can use the aggregate transformation or you can use the sort transformation so what is going to happen now you got all those records you try to put those records in the memory and then uh, uh, you you will be using a uh, uh, you actually you will even aggregate or with the sort transformation you are putting all those records in the memory and then the operation will start so to remove the duplicate records and give you the unique uh, records output so in this case uh, you are also blocking the entire uh, uh, process so if you have a uh, 20 million from one source and, and another 5 million from another one so you are putting 25 million records in the memory that can be costly operation and especially when you are um, low on memory and your system doesn't have a whole lot of memory that's going to make the process more slow so what are your options here so instead of uh, you, you might read the, the data from different sources union it and put into the um, even not union it you can directly write the data to the staging table from multiple sources and then use uh, the execute sql task and use the uh, row number operation uh, row number uh, functions with the partition by and over clause and get only the unique records from that source so what what i'm trying to tell you here um, you, there is no hard uh, rule where uh, you know you should be using only the transformations and that they are the best transformations there are transformations they are not really good or great transformations and uh, then uh, in those cases it is better you uh, maybe you can um, write the data to the SQL server table and use the store procedure queries or functions and uh, ha have the set based approach instead of row by row operations uh, let's uh, take another look uh, let's uh, assume that we need to load uh, a slowly changing dimension so in case when we are loading a slowly changing dimension that's uh, also going to work uh, with the uh, at one point we have to put the OLEDB command transformation to update uh, or the records uh, and uh, what that's uh, that's going to make it slow again so in those cases uh, what we need to do why not to put the data into the, some staging table and use the merge statement uh, that can perform update uh, delete uh, insert uh, for us uh, in the tc equal and uh, that will be doing the set base uh, approach and uh, that's how we can get good performance i i have done a lot of work on the performance tuning and i have seen uh, uh, when the people have used aggregate and sort and all those kind of things packages start taking more time and uh, especially when you have a lot of records come in so these packages can take hours and hours and when you you know take the alternate approach you put that data into the staging tables you use sql queries and all it it can take uh, way less time uh, that it take with the, these uh, blocking or asynchronous transformations so my suggestion go for combination and uh, when somebody asks you this question explain them the, all the details like OLEDB what are the limitation on OLEDB what are the limitation of using merge or merge join uh, what are the limitation of union all uh, what are the limitation uh, using aggregate uh, transformations so uh, go one step at a time till uh, they stop you uh, and uh, you know keep uh, keep telling them all those details so they would know that you are really expert in performance tuning and you know in and out of uh, uh, SQL as well as uh, uh, on the ETL tool thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video